she is sweet like this. Pity. Ah, are you coming too? That's it. Easy does it. Open those eyes. How are we feeling? Relax. I haven't done anything to you. Well, not yet. <laughs> Simply a little sleeping, guys. Yeah. You must be positively dehydrated. It's not poison. <laughs> if I wanted to kill you, little hero, why would I have knocked you unconscious and let you wake back up? Fine. No. <sighs> not poison. There you are. That's a good bet. Hmm? Nothing. Though, of course, I could have simply built up an immunity to certain poisons, but... Well, I suppose you'll have to trust me. Or I suppose you already did. Yes, you are a little tied up. Well, surely you can't blame me after <laughs> you and your friends tried to destroy my home. Well, place of business. I think that's all. Perspective. Whether or not I'm evil. I certainly don't think that I am. You wound me. But that's exactly what I was hoping we could talk about. Perspective. You believe an awful lot of horrible things about me. <laughs> you may have seen things, but you don't know how any of this began. When did they get you, hmm? Trained up as a child, did they pull you off the streets? Or did you volunteer for the greater good? Yes. And you work so well together, don't you? You must really feel like you found a little family there. Friends, yes. Such good friends. And they must really care about you. What with them not being here. find you. 
Darling, I'm not sure how to tell you this, but, um... <clears throat> they already know that you're here. Do you not remember? You're not coming here to fight me. You got injured. Poor thing. Sorry about that. But one must protect and defend oneself. Yes, well, don't struggle. It, I had you patched up. Don't. You're healing up quite well. I did the spell myself. Well, who else was going to do it? Your friends. Your team of heroes. <laughs> Let me set the scene. You come and break into my place of business. Where I have employees here. Innocents. Nothing to do with our fight. <sighs> Just because they work for me. We'll get back to that, but you come in here. A lot of the people here are unarmed, non-magic users. In you lot storm, blasting and punching anything inside. Naturally, we defend ourselves. You get... A nasty stab to the stomach. You and your team are overwhelmed. Especially when I show up. Hardly a match for me. You realize you're outnumbered. Things aren't going well. You're bleeding out on my fine carpet. And your fellow soldiers. Sorry. Friends. Decide the smartest move is to retreat. And off they run. Not sparing a thought for you. Not picking you up, slinging you over their shoulders and carrying you back, no. They left you here. You can say I'm lying all you like. I'm sure they'll admit it themselves. If you went back there, they'd probably apologize profusely that they thought you were already dead. They didn't have time, they couldn't get to you, but... I've got many men who will say the opposite. I would have let them take you back. I'm hardly going to shoot someone carrying an injured person. What do you mean, why not? What do you take me for? That. <laughs> Monster is a strong word. I suggest you think before using it again. Your friends abandoning you. You must feel awful. 
But do you know it's true? Because you know, you're starting to remember my words triggering memories. You were still conscious when they ran away. Losing blood, but conscious. Now do you recall? Big, strong arms lifting you up. My arms. My hands taking care of you. You seem so confused. It must be a lot to take in, of course. You really believed they cared about you. Well, rather than kill you, which <laughs> I'm not going to do, I'll have one of my men drop you back home now. No, I thought we could have a little chat. We're not so different, you know. <laughs> I think we've gotten off on the wrong foot. I'd like to tell you a story. It's not as if you have anything better to do. <clears throat> You're not that naive, surely you're aware of the state of this world. People starving. People in poverty. Bigotry running rampant in certain places. Yeah, I'm simply trying to make a difference. And I admit it. I'm a thief. Do you even know what I steal? Things that don't belong to me, yes, it's very smart. Things that people like, the ones who run your little organization, keep all to themselves. Things that are quite rare, but vital for certain potions. Do you know what item I've stolen the most? I think you'll be interested by the answer. Medication. And you lack total understanding. <laughs> From your perspective, this is pure evil. People need that. And I'm stealing away vital medicine that people need. But pray tell, what do you think I'm doing with it all? Selling it. <laughs> you think I'm running some sort of black market? Or g Gods, no. Is that what they tell you?
I give them away. I said I give them away. Do you have any idea of people in situations other than your own? I think you do. I think unlike most of them, who join that little team for fame, ego, I think either you genuinely think you're doing good in the world, or perhaps you're one of the recruits that they pinch from some sort of orphanage. I see you not from some privileged background like most of them. You're thinking deep down, is that why they left me? To never really fit in with the rest of them. You're from the slums, same as me. You can dress in all the fancy clothes you want. <laughs> That's gonna I. But... I know another lower dweller when I see one. And how I hate that term. But that's what they call us, isn't it? So, yes. Yes. I steal medicine. And give it to those who can't afford it. Do I take a little wealth that I find here and there and keep it for myself while a man has to make a living? Growing up, down there, in the pits, your precious organization, and anyone from up above. Don't care about us. Dump their waste. <laughs> Down into our streets. Our rivers. Polluting our air and our water. Making people sick. Refusing to hire any of us due to their prejudices that they created about us. I tried, you know. I was lucky. Had skill. My brain. Try to get out and prove I was something more, but I was never accepted amongst them. Just as you'll never be. They left you. Like you were nothing. Tired. 
tell me I'm wrong. Tell me in all your training and living with them that they've never made jokes at your expense. They've never gone quiet when you've walked into a room. They've never got out to parties and balls that you didn't know were happening because you didn't get an invitation. Tell me that you haven't had to work twice as hard just to be regarded as half as good as the rest of them. You don't understand how this can all be true. <laughs> Why would I care so much? Oh, little hero. You see, there's this thing called compassion. <laughs> and why would you presume I can't feel that? That I wouldn't know anything about it? You don't know me, but I'd like you to. I, unlike them, see you. You're just as good as the rest of them, just as talented, capable. You are underestimated underutilized and wasting your time trying to impress people who will never truly accept you not like I could You know how this all started. After everything I'd done. Gotten myself a good job, a good education. On track to get an internship at your little organization. And I was in pain. Every day. Physical, I mean. Still am, there's no magic cure. But. <laughs> you're not. Seem to have a hard time believing in such things. If they can't see it, it, must not be real. Or they just didn't care, you know, it's probably likely that as well. They weren't going to pay for my medical bills. So yes, I turned to magic. Unsupervised, untrained by any professional. I used any method I could get my hands on, didn't care how dark. Goodness, I didn't kill people or sacrifice animals, as some would have you believe. Only blood I used was my own. Not everyone has that luxury. Not everyone has the affinity for magic or the ability to access books and materials that I did. <laughs> I 
I don't know if I'm saying I'm the good guy, but certainly not evil. Unlike you, I don't claim to be a hero. I don't go out advertising myself. Not in this for people to recognize me and praise me. But is that what you're in it for? Attention. Praise. We all crave some of that deep down. Though, you, little hero, are you getting the praise that you wanted? The attention that you wanted? Dare I say, you wanted somewhere to belong. And you don't. You can say whatever you'd like, but it's true. They left you. And you're welcome, once we're done here, to... walk those little feet back to them. And I'm sure they'll be so glad to see you alive. Question you about me, about my secrets, which I'm not going to give you. <laughs> They'll be disappointed you didn't learn anything useful. They'll be suspicious that you're alive. Probably figure out that I healed you. Start wondering if you're in league with me. Why would I heal you and let you go? Us lower dwellers are all the same. Maybe we were in it together the whole time. Maybe you've had a change of heart. Can you be trusted anymore? Maybe they'll kick you out. Maybe they'll do worse. <laughs> and if I hadn't healed you, you'd be bleeding out on the floor, dead. Do you hear me? They left you. For dead, if I had not healed you, you wouldn't be alive. So owe me at least the decency of listening. And stop lying to me. I'm not asking you for your secrets, your team's names, your password to your headquarters, whatever. Do you feel? happy with them. Ask any of my staff. I take care of them. They get a good wage. Health care. Lives outside of work. A lot of them are volunteers, bless them. So the least I can do is cover food and help out if any troubles in their life pop up. Who do you have to turn to if things go sour? Well, I'm so glad you asked. 
because you do have a choice. You can go back there. You could stay here with me. And I'm not simply offering a job, mind you. You. You see me too. Don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I've seen you looking at me. And you know why? Because I've been looking at you. Can hardly take my eyes off you. Frankly, it's sort of affecting my performance. <laughs> I could help you. I could take care of you. Perhaps. Even. I could love you. <laughs> and that's what makes you angry. Because you haven't been loved, have you? They haven't made you feel cared about. And you hate that I'm right. You hate that you love the idea of it. Of staying here. Of what I could offer. I can give you time to think it over, of course. Big decision. If you go back, you'll only find out that what I'm saying is true. <sighs> Even if you don't join me, you deserve better than going back to them. You deserve to feel like you belong. And you could here. You could belong here. Mm -mm. If it thrills you, you could belong to me. <laughs> <laughs> and now you hate yourself for that reaction. But you mustn't. Pretty little thing. We understand each other. We know what it's like to feel used by them. For them to show us off as some sort of piece of diversity. And privately make us feel belittled. Left out.
as if they can't stomach us being there. <laughs> You'll realize it soon enough. <laughs> Never join me, yes, yes. <sighs> Train you up good, don't they? But if I was truly so nefarious, wouldn't I be torturing you? Demanding information out of you? All I'm asking is how you feel. <laughs> Doesn't make any sense, does it? Learning you've been lied to. Refusing to believe it, but you will. Even if it takes you going back to them to realize it. Which would be a pity. I do hope if you return that... You don't get into any trouble. I'd hate it if they locked you up. Or worse. If they think you've been conspiring with me. But fear not. I could always come and rescue you. <laughs> so ungrateful. Didn't have to waste the energy healing you, you know. But I did. Because I see the value in you. <laughs> I know you have value simply by being alive. Something that I'll never understand. Stay for a night. See if you like it. I could have a room made up. Warm, cozy bed. Hot dinner. And of course, if you got lonely in this new empty room, you'd only have to ask. I can give you. Anything you want, and you never need to feel unloved again. You're thinking about it. It's all right. They don't need to know. You're flushed. Am I too close? Do you want me to pack away? No. Would you let me?
You know, I did ask. All you had to do was say no. <laughs> oh, you're escaping. <laughs> I did say I'd let you go, didn't I? I didn't have... That hurt. Too proud to have me squat you out. You'll regret this. You want to go so badly, I won't stop you. No one will, I'll send the order out. You're free to go. <laughs> but I'll be seeing you again. Because sooner or later, you'll realize that I'm right. And you'll come crawling back. And I'll be here with open arms to hold you, comfort you. And take revenge if you'd like. You can be as disgusted in me as you'd like. We both know you almost leaned in to kiss me. So, until next time, little hero. Thank you all so much for watching, my lovelies. A reminder that custom audio and art commissions are currently open. I have two separate Kofis, you can find them both listed below. I also have a Patreon, if everyone who subscribed to me gave just one pound a month there, that would help me out a lot, allow me to move out and keep making audios in a safer environment. Rewards of being a patron of mine include access to my Discord, add free streaming and downloads of my audios, two exclusive spicy audios a month with at least one picked from your requests. If you join the top fledgling tier, and more, I also stream on Twitch most Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and I have an Etsy shop called Empty Mask, where I sell fan art and original art. I thank you to my patrons, my fledglings, 3-in-1 Shampoo, Solo Moon, The Lucio Archives, Oz Yuki, Sazi NK, Cynical Altera, Ebony Void, Fruit Island, Rain Cloud, Liam, CL, Nesquik, Fluffy Dino, Nerd Herder, Jordan Chores, Food Crimes and Fire, Oli Mac, Rice Puffs, Ruby, Carrion, Livia Nacito, Euronotti, Asterash, Delmo, Psyche, Percy, Kudo, Hell, The Stone Assist, Tiffany Boyer, Void, Zoe Mada, Aspen, River Heights Buff, Arbitrary Descriptivism, Joanna Cole, Roses in Blue, Ray Cart, Sweetheart's Tie, Emily, Sweet Jade, A, Tisness, Kit, Arcane, N, Nicole, Tsukiyomi, Emery Barnes, 675309, Goth Muppet, Pumpkin Pie 23, Nicole Thompson, Dahlia, Dahlia, Valkyrie Ace, Despair, Lethandrellis, Dawn Robin, Persephone Black, Lady D, Books Love for Music, Love the XE, Cecilia, Delaney, Lily, Fern, Persephone Paris, Oracle of BS, Alexis, Sammy, Transpanda, Q the Cats, Alpaca Avalanche, Philip Demeron, Steph, Aster ACI, Chris Vickman, Mark, Icy, Foul and Rune, Demonic's Anxiety, Deanna, Jam, Pajamas, Jesse, Ethereal Viking, Wibbles, Jazz, Lindsay, Emily, Vic, Nee, Ablison, Iris Evan, Amara Keen, Josie Moser, Rin Next, Faith, Next, Mamaron, Flitzkim, Jason Damien, Goober, Bellwether, Pychan13, Asta Sarah, Rowan the Hunter, Jay, Girl of the Pines, Rio Pornoglyph, Shelbs, Doll Extreme, True Starshine, Capu Cops, SH7, Ophelia, Peyton Gan, Lieutenant Leo, Dilith, Incognita, Zavoka Salts, Irrelevant Listener, Freak of Nature, Stink Noodle, Desi Fowl, Lewin, Tea Time, Ace of Hearts, Sister of War, Luna, Not Morkin, Jillian, Zed is Very Tired, Gabrielle Simpkins, Riot Control Camp, Charlie, Cecilia Verdrich, Boop, Sai Sad, Bookstore Cryptid, Joelle, McRae, Wisteria Song, Max Little Spoons, J. Aries, Ace, Delirious, Raven G, L.E.B., Lavender Kismet, Sunny, Dakin Look, Julie Birdsley, Mickey, Miles, David Moser, Ozd, Vanny, L, Void Fox, Chinua Chisai, Tooth, Three, six. Savvy Ghost, Virgie, Willow Arns, Lina, Insomnia, I'm Just Toby, Trash Gremlin, Pixin, Lindsay Houston, Coffee Cat, Rack, Courtney, Live La Hell, Annie or Alice, Cottikins, 314, Crow, Orf, Tucker Grave 3, Angel Games Unicorn, Momo 99, Tired Soul, Alistair Metal, Grim Bean, Maypop, Otter, Collective Unit System, Blue V Berry, Foxboy, Alex B, 
Miravaria, J, Alira G, Makaro One, M, Mason, Casey Harrison, Fometo, Wanayaka, Dal, Planet MB, Katie, Lady Dark, Maria Davis, Jenia, Oh No It's Joe, Amaranthine, Silly Goose, I Can Satan, Aero, Jordan, Omen Waltham, PT, Coda, Daniel Wolf, Peachy Sakura, Ren Drigas, Crested Blossom, Alexa, Christy Balcom, X Profane X, Jay Mays, The Roth Woman, Lurker, Abby Cats 1 Sex, Rural Goes Grr, Charlie Rose, Chantilly, Skylar Sheridan, Black Cat Toe Beans, Jessica Lewis Forsyth, I Am My Family's Loki, Amelia Plan, Olivia Osman, Sage Alexandra, Ricky, Elizabeth, Aurelia Starfall, Cassius, Blue Flame, Coda Lovkill, Hey Boo, Humble Knob, Artemis Amaritsu, Tulip Sulipson, Fishy78, Ola, Golden You, Love Face and Spirit, Plant Gatto, and Golf Drones 52. And a thank you to my familiars, Saladaria, Finn, Mary, Spatial Oddities, Jocelyn, Nicolaus, Dream Day, Sewing with Siren, ASMR, and Clover.